NCAA has extended the withdrawal deadline for players who declared themselves eligible for the NBA. That means players like Isaiah Livers and Xavier Tillman have more time to decide whether to go pro. Sports director Jack Doles talked to MSU's Tillman about the process. A lot of big decisions are being made in this world right now by politicians, business owners, families, and in this case, an athlete. Xavier Tillman has entered his name into the upcoming NBA draft, but he has not hired an agent. So he can still return to school. Xavier joins us now. Uh, Xavier, you have less than a month to decide go pro or come back to Michigan State. Where do you stand now? Um, I'm still at that 50-50 mark, same as I was when I put my name in. Uh, you know, if you look at uh, mock drafts, you would think I was for sure. Uh, but it's all about hearing the information from the NBA teams and, and what they like about my game, what they don't like, uh, whether they see me getting drafted with them or not. So uh, that's all I'm looking for now is just uh, some guarantees or at least some more confidence in teams. Yeah, everything I see right now says late first, maybe fall to the second. Uh, but if you look, if you come back to Michigan State, everybody says the Spartans will be a top 10 team next year. How much pressure do you feel from outside forces to go one way or the other? Um, it's not so much pressure, but it's, it's really uh, support. I, I, I like to call it as far as like, um, people know how successful we would be if, if I came back for another year. And then I have people who say like, hey, you know, you have a family, go make sure that your family's okay. So I definitely, I feel like it's support for both angles and I, and I really appreciate it. What's your support system and how big of a role does Tom Izzo play in this decision? What kind of advice is he giving you? Um, he's one of the bigger roles besides obviously my wife and my family. Um, just because he, he knows the NBA the in, ins and outs of it, and he's able to get information from those guys, as well as he wants the best for me and my family as well. So he's preaching to them all the good things uh, about me, <laughs> trying to sell me. Um, and then also he's letting me know that I still got to be trying to work out every single day or at least as much as possible during this pandemic so I could stay ready either, either for an NBA season or, or for his season with the, with the team. Yeah, normally you're surrounded by teammates, but they're all home. How are you staying in shape? How do you sharpen your game by yourself? Um, home workouts is the first thing. I do a lot of home workouts. Uh, There's a lot of body weight stuff, you know, uh, planks, push-ups, uh, different types of ab stuff to, to stay conditioned that way. And then the players got 24-7 access to the brass uh, without any coaches or anything like that. So uh, I can get in by myself, and, and we have a bike in there where I can do conditioning. Uh, we have a shooting machine in there where I can uh, put up hundreds and hundreds of shots. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, I do a little ball handling stuff by myself. So uh, I've been doing a little bit of everything to try to stay conditioned and keep my game sharp. We're still in the middle of a pandemic, so this draft process is considerably different than in years past. How does a guy raise his stock when you can't work out for teams and you can't meet them face-to-face? Yeah, it's all about the, these Zoom interviews. Uh, I've had two interviews so far with uh, Utah and, and Detroit, and it's all about the Zoom interviews and how well you perform in those. Answering the questions, honestly, is the biggest key for those teams because they know everything about you. Uh, so that's uh, been the best way I know of to raise my stock without you know meeting face-to-face or working out. All right, you said Detroit, huh? As a Michigan kid, would that be a thrill to play for them? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's, you know, I've been a, a fan of, of the, the bad boys now that I've been watching them on this Michael Jordan docu documentary and just kind of getting to know the history of Detroit a little bit more, um, of the Pistons. I, I really wasn't a Pistons fan growing up. I was always a bandwagon on the best NBA player. So, uh, that there's some, there are teams that's definitely like high on my list of teams that I would love to play for, for sure. Xavier, you and your wife welcomed a second child to the world this season. How much does that and having to support a family weigh in your decision? Um, it definitely does. But then at the same time, I know uh, coming back uh, for senior year, I know that we'll still be in a safe, stable situation uh, with great living arrangements, uh, getting um, uh, getting monthly checks and stuff like that, the holder store and stuff like that. All my meals we paid for, unlike in the real world. So uh, I just know either way I'll be good for sure. But it does kind of weigh on me in the fact that, uh, you know, I want to provide for them the best I can. And if uh, that's not this year, then that's not this year. If it is, it is. So I'm, I'm more than willing for either, either decision I make.